God only knows what's inside you, this capacity for consciousness, the capacity to confront potential and to turn it into something good. That's us, man. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field, because you ain't got a why for what you do. You ain't got a why. I walk in the room, I can see some of y'all. I spoke to all of y'all when y'all came in for the most part. Why? Because I'm looking in your eyes and I see some of y'all and you ain't serious. And you think you about to go out there with the Ray Lewis's of the world? Nigga, please, when Ray come out, you see the passion. Every game, you see the energy. He come out every game like, y'all follow me. Follow my lead, baby, and we gonna win this thing. But I want you to take it personal. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. I asked the question, why not you? Every single day, somebody says yesterday, E.T., you gave 120, what you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know, get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. If you are too selfish, if you don't want to accept other opinions, if you think you're always right, if you're always getting loud, if you lose an argument, if you are always emotional, if you can't control your mind, then you're never going to be a man. A man think before he speaks. He is always calm and relaxed. He take responsibility for his actions. He always try to find solutions. He's fast and he acts. As a man, you have decisions to make. You should push yourself beyond your limits of tolerance in your 20s to find out where it is. How much can you work? How disciplined can you become? Like, can you work 12 hours a day? Can you work eight hours a day? Can you work three hours a day? Like, flat out. Where's your limit? And how much, how much work can you do and how much socialization? You should find out. Push yourself past and then back off to, to that point where it's optimally sustainable. I know why you go on Instagram. I know why you... Because... You just have the time. You have the time because you don't want to put that time into bettering oneself. So I know why I'm misunderstood. I'm misunderstood by people who have plenty of time on their hands to misunderstand me because they are exactly where I once was. The little children of history, man. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Over the time, people lost their will, the duty to go through tough times for their family, for themselves, the mentality to win. The reality is, you have to build up a strong mind to go through these dark times. Most of us are not living in war. We are blessed to live in peace. But that doesn't mean that there are no problems no more. A lot of people are living from day to day, not thinking of the future, to be financially independent, reaching their highest potential, helping other people. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, that's yeah, great. We're up to date, we, you know, you, but your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, when you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to, you may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in a day where you're alone in this brain. So start to think for the future and do something. Do something where you're good at and start getting disciplined. Use your brain and get out of your comfort zone. Let the feelings aside. Did you ever ask yourself what you really want to achieve? Imagine sitting here with all you ever wanted and you don't have to work for it. You would buy some things, retire your family, and then what? I ask you, then what? What people don't understand, the way you have to go for success is the actual goal. What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to skip the parties, cut out the socializing, pass on doing the cool thing on the weekend with your friends? Cause that's what it's gonna take! It's gonna take you dedicating every single fucking moment, every single ounce of energy and effort you have to pull it off! Forget about balance! You have to be obsessed with the thing you want and don't allow anything to pull you away from it. It did happen to me at 19. It did happen to me at 20. It did happen to me at 30. It happened to me at 40. After I had been through all the, all the pressure I thought I could go through, life said, you finished with all the pressure? 
I said, yeah. I said, let him bring on the heat. Where are the people who talk negative about your goals and ambitions when you are working at night? Exactly. At bed, asleep. They don't know that the way you are going, the grind, is the actual goal. They think the big success in the end is the finish line. I had to stop thinking normal. I had to stop thinking normal. I can no longer be a common man walking around doing common things. A wise man once asked, how big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? If you know why you're doing something, it's easier to do it. When you don't know why you're doing it, it's hard. Your why has to be greater than that knockdown. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. I, he was stumbling. They were four, three, two, and he, one, and ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, up. Oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's going to just hammer him. And exactly that. Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me. Many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. And the world was shocked. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to beat Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is and your why isn't strong, you're gonna get knocked out every single day. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses, you will dominate every single person you're up against. The 1%. This is a group of people that do what the other 99% don't. They separate themselves from the crowd by constantly pushing through discomfort. They work when others don't. I believe that when we die, we meet the person we could have been. The one we were capable of. The life we were capable of having. I want you to imagine for a minute that when you die, you meet who you could have been. I'm chasing that guy. The emotions, the memories, the contribution, the achievements. I'm chasing it. When I get there, I'm going to go, man, I've been chasing you at my lad. And I want me to go, man, I was watching you, bro. What a run. Man, I thought you blew it on that one chapter. And then, I, then you came back. And then you got knocked down again. Then you came back. You got knocked down again. You did it. You maxed out your life. So I'm telling you, this ain't forever. And when you're doing something that don't last forever, you got to treat it differently. This don't last for 20. This don't last for 30. This might not even last for 10 for some of you. So you got to take full advantage of every single Sunday. You know what discipline really is? Discipline is when you are tired. You want to turn off the alarm and sleep in. But you get up and do what needs to be done. Discipline is when you do what you do not want to do now so you can get what you do want in your life later. Discipline is something very few people have. That is discipline. Stop chasing for motivation and get disciplined.